everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about my 13 and 14 week update. Um, I can't believe time is like passing by so quickly. I don't know, I guess depending on how you see it, this could be the beginning of the second trimester. And so yeah, just like, let's just jump into all the different changes that I've been experiencing. Starting with the physical changes, I did notice that my body is getting a little bit more tired now. Obviously, um, the symptoms that I talked about before are still subsided, so I don't have nausea, I don't have morning sickness, and to be honest, there are days where I like forget I'm pregnant, and so um, I still, you know, do things like as if everything was kind of normal, and then I get a little bit of a reality check um, at the end of the day where you know I just sit down and my lower back hurts. Um, I did a, I don't know, like two and a half three hour hike the other day with my girlfriends and during the hike obviously I had to slow down a little bit but otherwise I was able to get through it and mm, bad news uh, that night I was just in agony not because um, I was like out of shape but it was just my lower back was hurting something to note is I do have um, what they call uh, anterior pelvic tilt so that means that my lower back like the spine kind of tilts out a little bit which means my the front of my um my pelvic bone is kind of jutting out so i think that's why the lower back pain is kind of pronounced so like early on in the pregnancy so i have to fix that getting more tired um i'm getting hungrier hungrier in terms of like more meals in between my big meals so i'll have you know a little snack and i am trying to keep it healthy but sometimes your girl is just craving some chips okay i just i just want to eat chips and so i've been indulging a little bit and some ice creams but i actually found some um natural ice creams to eat where it's more of just like fresh fruit and ice um, not as satisfying as like a malona bar but uh still kind of uh satiates the snacking that I'm doing. Another symptom, or I guess physical uh, symptom, is I just feel myself getting bigger. Like my limbs usually gain weight first, so my arms, my legs, my butt, my hips, and so I can kind of just feel those areas expanding, um, especially when I'm trying to wear uh, pants or clothes that don't necessarily have stretch, so like more of like the jersey material, or sorry, like the cotton material and um i can you know barely fit it over my bum and so i can definitely notice a difference there uh, very luckily i am able to keep up with my workout still so three to four times a week i work out on zoom with my girlfriends we do a hit style workout um, with some strength training involved and so i've had to sub out some of the movements that require twisting or um, plank work because my, my stomach just doesn't feel comfortable um, and so i'll do more leg work or just arm workouts while they're doing those movements um, another thing that i feel is still expanding which i spoke about the last time are my boobs so when i went through a sort of fitness journey last year before my wedding um, i did f45 for about a year and so i really toned down and like cut down my fat percentage and so the first thing to go were the boobs and so i was almost down to like an a cup if not barely a b and now it's different <laughs> it's just bigger than last year um i'm filling out c cups now i think teetering onto the d cup so over to the emotional changes um a lot of people don't talk about this or at least i haven't heard people talking about this but again pregnancy is so much about mental and emotional changes um, and I can really feel myself kind of going through it in terms of you know thinking about the future and kind of having you know days where you're just kind of feeling like ugh, like you know mood swings and yeah so I think that's just kind of continuing and just certain things just feeling uncomfortable you're kind of feeling uncomfortable in your skin and so that kind of translates and in general uh, I've been feeling good but there have been more days where I'm just feeling like, just, just you know, mentally not 
feeling it. Now I want to talk about appointments. And so this part that I actually want to talk about, I want to keep it for the um, rest of the videos is talking about appointments. I think something that I missed out on the last few videos is appointments during COVID is so much different. Like your prenatal care is different because, um, you know, every medical office is taking extra precautions. And so we actually went for our second ultrasound, the nuchal translucency test, which is a test that measures um, the fluid at the back of baby's neck in conjunction with a blood test. And what these two tests together, they test for the likelihood of baby carrying abnormality. My husband could not join me for the entirety of the ultrasound. He was only allowed in, uh, I believe in the last like five minutes. And um, I don't know if you know i mean i'm sure the second time mamas out there kind of expect this but if you've never done an ultrasound before you don't realize that the technician doesn't actually tell you anything during or at least mine didn't it was completely silent and she was like business only like the whole time it's you know about like 25 minute 20 25 minute procedure and you're just sitting there in silence while the technician is taking measurements and clicking away at the computer and it's a really awkward experience because i think i went in thinking that you would get the hollywood experience and people like the technician would tell you you know this is where the head is this is what i'm going to measure this is baby's head baby's feet blah 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 but that actually doesn't happen until the last again five minutes um and that's when the technician went out called um rami and my husband in and showed us so she then flipped the um screen towards me and showed the baby and it was so cute how much the baby was moving already and that was when baby was about 12 12 weeks and a half and it was just so cute to see like the hands the arms and at one point she i guess took a picture of baby looking like directly at the probe and baby <laughs> that camera that picture looks I'll, I'll put it here somewhere um but yeah it baby looks like an alien right now um and so that was kind of trippy but also just cute because you're like oh it's your kid everything is cute when it's your kid so yeah that is it for the end of my 13 to 14 week update uh stay tuned to my channel subscribe if you want more you know family style topics let me know if there's any topics that you want for me to talk about in upcoming videos i'm really just doing this to document my own journey um you know being pregnant during covid and how different this experience will be from hopefully the rest of my pregnancies if should we decide to have more children so yeah hope you enjoyed and hope that was helpful and i filming this a little bit later so i'll pop in a picture of the bump at 13 14 weeks just to give you an idea um, of how much I was showing then and yeah thank you so much for watching uh, leave me a comment below and let me know if you are also expecting or if you're gonna try to conceive soon would love to know where y'all at in your journeys talk to you soon bye